This device is called a hoverboard, balancing or smart scooter, electric skateboard and even a hoverboard. I'm talking about those interesting devices with two wheels that you've probably already seen on the streets of the city. At first glance, a hoverboard looks quite simple, two platforms on which you can stand and two wheels. But in fact, the hoverboard is quite a complex, technological, and modern device. For the first time such a device was developed by Dean Kamen, and in 2001 they called it, Segway. This device was already able to keep balance automatically, but for turns it was necessary to manipulate the steering mechanism. In 2014, the first devices without steering began to appear, they were called, hoverboard. These devices were controlled only by the rider's body position. Let's take a look at the main parts of the hoverboard and find out how it works. The hoverboard consists of two platforms connected to each other. A wheel is attached to each platform. Each platform is covered with a decorative plastic body consisting of two parts. Inside there is an iron frame made of a light but durable alloy. This frame is strong enough to withstand an adult weighing about 100 kilograms. All elements of the hoverboard are attached to the frame, a wheel, electronic components, a battery, and a plastic cover. The two parts of the frame are connected by a powerful, rotating cylinder that can withstand the weight of a child or an adult. This connection allows the platform to rotate at a slight angle. Why this is necessary we will see later. The cylinder is fixed with two rings at both ends. There is an electronic board with tilt sensors in each of the platforms. One sensor in the left platform. The second sensor is in the right platform. Each sensor monitors the tilt of only one platform. There is also another board on which the main processor of the hoverboard is installed. In this part there is a battery that provides electricity to the entire hoverboard. This large battery consists of small batteries connected to each other. In this part there is a wheel attachment to a metal frame. This wheel is not just a wheel, but an electric motor. This part of the wheel remains stationary while driving. Only this part of the wheel rotates. Let's find out how this whole mechanism works. When the hoverboard turns on, all electronic components receive electricity from the battery. An indicator lights up in the upper part, indicating that the hoverboard is ready to work. At the moment, the hoverboard does not keep its balance, but waits until the rider puts his foot on one of the platforms. When the rider puts his foot on the platform, he presses one of the two buttons located under the plastic platform. These buttons turn on and off the tilt sensor located on this electronic board. This sensor recognizes the tilt of the entire platform. Tilt forward. Tilt back. When the rider steps on the second platform, another button is pressed. Only when the two buttons are pressed simultaneously, the hoverboard starts to support both platforms horizontally, preventing the rider from falling. Maintaining balance is controlled by the central processor located on this electronic board. This processor is a bit like the same processor that is installed in computers or smartphones, only its principle of operation is much simpler. This processor sends a question to each tilt sensor, what position are you in? The sensor sends a response, horizontally. The processor sends a lot of such questions in a short period of time. 
about 100 times per second, while the processor receives signals that the platforms are in the horizontal position, nothing happens and the hoverboard is stationary. As soon as the processor receives the answer to the next question, forward tilt of 5 degrees, it understands that the platform has tilted forward by 5 degrees, and in order to set the platform in a horizontal position again, it is necessary to rotate the wheel a little forward. The processor supplies electricity to the electric motor and the wheel rotates forward. The processor will rotate the wheel until it receives a response from the sensor that the platform is in a horizontal position. The greater the tilt of the platform, the faster the processor will rotate the wheel. To make a turn, you need to tilt one of the platforms a little more. The processor will see this tilt and start spinning one wheel faster. The hoverboard will start turning. If you tilt the platforms in different directions, the hoverboard will start rotating in place. Thus, we can control the hoverboard using only body tilts. It is very convenient and unusual. The appearance of such devices became possible thanks to the development of microelectronics. Previously, the production of such gadgets was impossible, since the tilt sensors used in the hoverboard were large in size, and simply would not physically fit into a compact case. By the way, similar sensors are used in a smartphone that you probably have. If you were interested in videos about the device and the operation of various mechanisms and devices, subscribe to the channel. We have just started and there will be more similar videos ahead.